Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I want to discuss a product that I've been working on for quite some time. I get messages every day uh, and typically out of the messages I get, I get five or six questions on Gecko Pro Grade Drives and one of the questions that always comes up is what power supply do I recommend to power their system with multi Gecko Pro Grade Drives to get optimal speed and performance. They're always looking to get as close to 80 volts as possible because that's the maximum voltage rating on Gecko Pro Grade Drives. And again, if you have a large system, that's what the Gecko Pro Grade Drives are designed for. You really wanna have a lot of power so that your speed for your rapids, you're not waiting all day. And again, the precision, once you start getting that voltage higher and higher, those motors are really sucking the juice. You're really gonna get that kind of machining performance you're after. That being said, typically, when you start looking at an 80 volt power supply, especially one that actually supplies the amount of power required for a multi-drive pro-grade system, it gets pricey, guys. I'm sure you've done the homework. Typically, they go in excess of three, four, five hundred dollars $500. They're cookie cutter uh, power supplies in the sense that they all have the typical terminal bus bar mounted to the unit. Um, and I wanted to change that. I wanted something that wouldn't break the bank is is reasonable for what you're getting again you are getting maximum performance the unit that i came up with was a 1200 watt unit it puts out 72 volts at 16 and a half amps now guys that's a 10 percent difference from the 80 volt maximum which number one you're never going to see anyways in performance but on top of that it gives you that little buffer of safety i never like being at the max voltage when you're dealing with something that high again uh, gecko rates in the 80 volts you probably could go even slightly above that i don't recommend it Gecko certainly doesn't recommend it. And again, I wanted something simple. And when I say simple, anybody knows, you know, you're dealing with a smaller system like a G540 system. You're not usually dealing with that many hookups considering, again, what we're working with. It's a much smaller driver package integrated wise. You're not dealing with lots of breakout boards and all that neat stuff. My ProGrade system users typically have a lot more wiring to do it's more extensive and then you always have to deal with well if i have to clean or service the unit if god forbid the unit you know goes down how do i replace it that usually entails you removing all of the wiring that goes to the power supply and then you're going to spend a couple hours going back in tightening everything it's just a tedious monotonous type thing and again most guys don't even bother cleaning the unit because they know it's going to take too much time to get to it and then they have to remove everything it's just a hassle so that being said i wanted to come up with a design that i've used basically over and over again because i don't work so well and that was my modular design for terminal blocks you could see what we have here. It utilizes thumb, thumb nuts. The thumb nuts simply are modular in design. You can remove any terminal block you'd like. These are solid brass, the same type of terminal blocks you'd find in a breaker box. They'll easily handle the power distribution from this unit. On top of the fact there are 12 pin locations, so you can hook up 12 different devices on either the, the positive or negative. On top of it, also on the bottom, you only have to drill two holes to mount this entire system. Now, a lot of problems when you go to mount um, terminals or the power supply in general is the fact that you you never can get it in an optimal location whether it be on a horizontal platform or a vertical platform you typically just are always fighting yourself on which way you want to do it okay well that was where I wanted to end that as well you can mount this in any location that you feel you'd like to and really the beauty of this whole thing especially when you're dealing with a pro grade system let me just turn it around and show you what we got is the fact that you can remove one terminal these just simply unscrew once they unscrew you remove the single terminal the entire terminal block gets dismounted and when that what that means basically is you never have to disturb any of the wiring in your entire enclosure if the wiring is all set here and all your drives are all hooked up and you have to service the power supply or it goes down you'd simply unscrew the terminals here once you do that, unscrew the four screws that actually mount the unit to your base chassis. Once that's done, you can either, you can either uh, clean the unit or replace it based upon what you need. Okay, that to me is amazing time savings. Uh, anybody who has a pro-grade system, especially with a lot of wiring, this is a unit that cannot be ignored because of that. It's going to save you an immense amount of time. And again, very, very simple hookup. You can see um, it's modular in the sense you're just going to undo the knob knob comes off and you can see we have a circle clip along with a washer circle clip mounts right over lock and load you can have a power supply changed and swapped out within minutes and never disturbing any of your internal wiring that you've already done in your terminal blocks that was what i was really aiming for is how fast this is to do 
okay on top of that I want to discuss size on this unit just to give you guys a, a rough breakdown the width of the units you're going to want at least a five and a quarter inches wide of space to mount it and at least 11 and a half inches long um, again she does use pro grade mounts you've got the 90 degree mounts to mount her to your chassis and she is power selectable from 110 to 220 and of course we did that so that it's regionally selectable for my international clients what i'm telling you right here with this is you will definitely see a performance increase a lot of guys are wondering you know what kind of speed difference are we seeing from 48 volts you're going to be looking at about give or take about a 38 percent difference in speed that is massive on rapid movements now not everybody needs that you know if you have a large table i would say in excess of eight ten feet this would be optimal for an eight to ten foot table that does not mean i don't have guys running 48 volts this is for the guy who wants the most speed bang for your buck this is really going to do it and on top of the toolless mounting platform for your terminals nothing gets easier as far as setup i mean uh, overall power supply itself of course she's got a voltage adjustment the uh the actual fan inside is a, a thermostat regulated fan um, it does have a power led on the front voltage adjustments over here you can see that on the bottom power leds on the bottom as well Let's see if i can turn that you might be able to see it there it is right down there you can see that and then over here of course as we rotate her unit is quite heavy too guys i'm telling you right now i believe it's about eight pounds i haven't weighed it myself yet but it's about eight pounds connection is very simple you've got your line neutral and ground Let's see if i can get the light out of there you can see it here we go line neutral ground and you're set to go very very simple hookup and again just a massive really robust unit that for a pro grade system you guys are really going to appreciate this and i hope it's really fits the bill for everybody that's been looking I, again i wanted something that was simple especially the more wiring you guys encounter and, and i know you'll spend hours and hours wiring the machine and making sure everything is set the last thing you want to ever have to do is service a power supply because it goes down or again because you want to clean the system and you can't or you won't do it because you know the hassle involved with removing everything and trying to get it uh, again, I cannot emphasize until you've had one of these terminal blocks mounted in a position that's optimal for your system. A lot of guys like to mount their power supplies outside of the enclosure so they're not generating as much heat because, again, this monster, of course, is going to expel heat like the remaining components inside of it. Um, a lot of guys will mount it outside, have the wiring with the terminal blocks mounted inside. You have that as an option as well. And then you can clean your unit or service your unit whenever you choose to. And on top of that, you're not building that ambient heat with the unit being mounted inside the enclosure. So, again, I hope this video has been helpful. If you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Um, I look forward to some feedback on the units because I guarantee you there's, uh, like I said, there's been a, quite a few guys that have been looking. Um, this unit works amazingly well with my new ProGrade steppers. The 1,700-ounce steppers with this is a monster package. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I'll, I look forward to, to doing some more videos on some more products and uh, also performing some more tutorials. Thank you. Take care.